Hello my handsome and sexy dirty bastards, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do a review about this one. Guerlain Lom Ideal Parfum. That's what it is. I bought it at the airport. A lot of people said, Michelle, you really need to try this. I'm sure that you're gonna like it, so I blind bought it. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna do a blind sniff and you will see my first impressions if I like it, yes or no. And I'm also gonna let you know if you need to buy this fragrance, yes or no. So gentlemen, grab yourselves a cup of coffee and put your balls in a good position and let's get into it. Moment of truth. So this is how the bottle, bo bottle. This is how the box looks like. Nothing special. Hoppakee, throw it away. And the bottle is nothing special as well. They made it like super boring. So this is how the bottle looks like. And it is annoying because all the bottles of the Lom line look like this right now. Back in the day, they looked like this. At least you had like a red cap, a red sticker on it and like it's a little bit more brownish, brown, brown. But now all of the Lom fragrances come with a boring sticker and a black cap. So now it's even like more hard to separate them. And I like the other fragrances from the Lom line as well. So let's see if I like this one too. Very nice sprayer. And I wish it had a magnetic cap actually. It would look very good on this, but you know, it clicks into place very nice and tucky. You can pick it up like that. So it's fine. It's good. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. Oh, so even my buttons <laughs> gonna are unbuttoning right now because it smells so good. Wow. Okay. Whew. Alcoholic. I really get leather and almonds and something more and alcoholic ish. It's really good. It's really nice. Also some cherry. I also get cherries in there. Hmm. This is a very good release. I like it a lot. I want it more because those are the things also, uh, is the sprayer like beautiful? No, but almost it is still beautiful. Hmm. Those are the thing that I, do hate a little bit with designer fragrances. They are not so strong. You really need to spray a lot with them. And also with the Guerlain fragrances, they are not strong. They are not beast mode. They are just normal, you know? They are not that, that super strong. But, you know, I, honestly, I spray these fragrances like 20 times and I make it project. But smell wise, do I like it? Yes or no? I like it a lot. Mm, like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Yes. Okay, what I'm gonna do right now is because I have nothing more to tell at the moment, just that I like it. I'm gonna let it settle down on my skin for two hours and then come back with a full review about how it changed and the notes, everything that you need to know basically. So be right back in a sec. Two hours later. All right guys, and I am back. So it has been two hours that Long Ideal Parfum has been sitting on my skin. So let's see what the fragrance notes are. And by the way, it got much, 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 much better in a dry down. The longer this one sits on your skin, the sexier it gets. That's what we want. Okay, so let's see what the fragrance notes are. And I am looking at it on Sniff to see what is in here. And for the people who don't know what Sniff is, Sniff is like an app that you can read everything about fragrances. It is basically like a Instagram and Frankrantica mixed together. You know, Frankrantica has become a little bit more of a trolling kind of a website. These people that are on here are a little bit more serious, more serious about reviewing fragrances. So you won't see stupid comments on there like, I think it's gonna smell like this, or I think that no people that have smelled it, only they will comment on it. Okay, so the fragrance notes are Amaretto. That's why I like it. It's my favorite drink. Oh, now that I know it, I like it even more. Okay, so the notes are Amaretto, Musk, Leather, and Patchouli. Fuckers, they only give us four notes? Really? I do smell the leather. Amaretto, yes, that was the almond note that I really got. And you're also gonna smell cherries in it, but that's from my nose, that's what I get. So amaretto, leather, yes, musk, patchouli in the base and cherries is what you're gonna get. Okay, a lot of people give it a 4.7, which I 
kind of agree. I would give it, out of a five star, I would give it a four because I wish it projected a little bit more and it doesn't really do that. I also don't know how long this one will last. I will write down here uh, about the longevity and projection, just so you know, Michelle of the Future will write it down here because I only have it on my skin now for two hours. So we will see how good it will get. And honestly, now in a dry down, it is much more unisex than what it is masculine, so. Just for if some women watch me, you can wear this one as well, easily. Okay, and let's see what my father bought these ones for me. What my father has paid. So we got discount, but normally 100 ml is 168 euros, so almost 170. This is what I've been telling you guys, like the prices are gonna go like niche now. It is really crazy what these designer companies are asking us because they make these fragrances in such a big bulk and they have like their own fragrance companies. They don't have to ask these amounts of prices. That niche companies do that, I understand. Also now that I am myself in this business, that we ask more is much more reasonable because we can't make like millions of these fragrances and these companies do make so much so like one product what will it cost them two to five euros max max maybe not even you know so they can cut down the price on it actually but okay fine so it was 168 but now it is 134 it wasn't like that in the past it was always like around 80 100 max especially if they were new but now they are always past that but okay fine do i think that is worth the money yes because i still like it judging from how the bottle looks and you know it sits nice in the hand nice sprayer Smelling wise, yes, I just wish, mm. oh, really good. I just wish it projected a little bit more. That is the only thing that I want. But maybe if you spray like 30 times, it's fine. <laughs> How I always do it. When can you wear this fragrance? Fall and winter, nighttime, that's the perfect place to wear this one. Date nights, you know? Sexy, edible, yes, that's this. It's unisex. Everybody can rock this. And is this one curly approved? Do you guys need to check this one out? Yes, you should. Check this one out. See how good this is on your skin. Because uh, I really think that this is a good release. So, it's curly approved. Check it out. Let me know in the comments down below what you want me to do a review of next. And I will do it. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh, oh, oh.